guys in today's video we're gonna be checking out the seattle supersonics i mean the houston rockets classic edition jersey it's the same colorway it just reminds me of the supersonics we should really bring back the supersonics i don't know what the nba is doing before they were the houston rockets in 1967 they were an expansion team called the san diego rockets and they won 15 games that season right now the houston rockets are on pace to break that 15 games at 13 wins they stink honestly i didn't even want this jersey i know he is another player that has filipino descent but i don't like his game i really like that shangun guy that guy is dope it's like these foreign bigs now are killing it right now but jalen green super athletic like he can score on all three levels i think that's very like you know that's a rare it's a gift and he's like i said super super athletic but man, do I hate his game. It's like, it's all stat driven, little too much ISO centric and just shooting all these contested shots. I mean, that's not winning basketball. I know he's young, maybe he might develop, but like the things that he does on the court, it just seems so something you would do in like high school. Like it's just bonehead plays and don't get me wrong, I don't mind bonehead plays, but like the style of play, it doesn't contribute to winning basketball. It's like all ISO, all ISO, and then shoot a contested shot. I was like, you're not gonna win that way. And that's why the Rockets stink. Not just him, but just collectively as a team, they just stink. It is what it is. But they released this classic edition jersey. Wasn't too sure about it. So let's check it out. Starting off at the collar, you have a three-tone colorway. You got green, you got some yellow, and you got some white. Arm openings, you got the same style as well. Then Jerry West logo, so on these classic edition, little off colorway where it's like off white, a little darker blue, a little darker red. Then we go to green, which is the last name. What I do like about this lettering is that 3D dimension to it. Looks really nice. Unfortunately, just heat pressed on it. Then the number four, pretty much the same style as the number, heat pressed. But I do like that, like, look, it looks, it looks clean. Then bottom right, you got dry fit advanced. And that's pretty much the back of the jersey. On the front side, you got the same thing, rounded collar, three-tone colorway. And then you can see on the back side of that collar, it's just solid green. Arm opening, same thing. Then you got your Nike swoosh with the word mark, all embroidered. Pretty much standard information. Then we go down to Rockets and the number four. So Rockets, just like the back, I like that 3D look. Just gives it some dimension. Really nice looking. Still kind of a plain jersey though. Four, same thing as the back. Then we go down to Jock Tag, so Swingman, 44, Classic Edition, Nike with the word mark, a little side split, nothing on the sides. And that is the front of the jersey. Whoa, it's a little off, eh? Uh, look at that, that, I feel like it's a little more too inwards. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. So first off, this one's a size medium, right? You usually get large. I feel like this medium is a little smaller than other mediums that I've gotten this year. Um, I don't know, maybe it could just be a bad batch. Um, got this NBA store Australia, so uh, who knows? But embroidery i always think it's dope i like that that uh the text has like some dimension to it so it's like gets that 3d effect i think that's a cool feature but man it's just uh, i don't know the colorways just remind me of the seattle supersonics but man they really got to bring them back it's a pretty plain jersey um i wouldn't i don't know nothing special for me honestly I feel like an authentic version would be pretty better. I wouldn't say pretty good, but I definitely would think better just because I would like to see the dimensions and the numbers and stuff like that, but it's a plain jersey. Overall, just not a fan of it. 
I don't know. I mean, they released a lot of dope classic edition jerseys this year. This just doesn't do it for me. I mean, maybe it's because so much, so many good ones came out this year. You release this in the same batch as the ones that came out and it just doesn't look good. I don't know. Uh, if I have to rate it overall, I'm gonna give it a two. Give it a two. I think an authentic version would look better, but still not a fan of it. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, thanks again for watching, guys. And yeah, this is way too small. I'm gonna have to get rid of this. Peace.